I talk a lot about fintech on this channel and the question I get asked the most by far is how to get into fintech. What courses you should take, the skills that are required, um, how to get that first internship, how to get that first job in fintech or transition into fintech from a non-finance related industry. And the answer is actually incredibly simple. Like with most jobs, you effectively have to demonstrate that you know what you're talking about even before you get there. And at this point, there are a number of really great books written on fintech uh, that give you that insider's knowledge. They are either written by people working in fintech or people that interviewed a huge amount of CEOs and leaders in fintech and then give you just that information. So today I want to give you seven books that give you that insider knowledge track that will help you either get that first job, that first internship, or simply if you already work in finance, give you a much deeper understanding of the digital transformation that we're all going through in finance. All right, let's look at them. All right, seven books to get into. I'm going to give you the 30 to 60 second elevator pitch on each of those. Remember, the links are below the video, so you can check out later um, and uh, look at the details of each of these books. But I do want to underline the fact that this is a small investment in your future. And if you're going to get a high paying fintech job or if you already are in finance, this is a small investment to have a much more informed conversation or really ace that interview to get that first fintech job. All right, let's get in it. The first book is called Bank 4.0, which is a subtitle of Banking Everywhere, Never at a Bank, which kind of really tells you the story. But this is a great book on digital banking. It's a follow up to Bank 2.0 and Bank 3.0, which were both bestsellers. But here the author really takes a deep dive on the blockchain technology, on uh, big data, AI, artificial intelligence, uh, augmented reality and how that's changing kind of mainstream finance. You know, it talks about a world that where the biggest bank is not a name that you would expect, where a, a network of branches is a burden and not an asset. It talks about banking that is smart, that is instant, that is ubiquitous. So this is really going to give you a, a great overview of how the landscape, how banking and finance has changed in the 21st century. A great book to kind of understand the changes for a job interview, but also if you already work in finance, to simply have a much more and deeper uh, and informed discussion at a strategy meeting. The second book on my list, I think is potentially my favorite book on, on the list of the books that I'm going to talk about today, and that's The Fintech Founders, which really is a great combination of finance and fintech with the startup world. Because this book, just like the Market Wizards series on trading, this book gives you over 70 in-depth interviews with fintech founders. And this is certainly a book for entrepreneurs, for people that want to see how fintech is born and then built and it gives you a lot of resources a lot of information on all the various aspects of fintech from uh, banking payments to uh, wealth management to uh, insurance to cryptocurrencies all the areas in financial technology you can think of are covered in this book by the companies that are um, that are being discussed with the founders uh, this really is a great book that kind of shows you how to take an idea forward and build on it so from you know, uh, seeking founders to um, getting funding to learning from the initial mistakes, then repositioning and defining the business model and then scaling it up to a real company. And by the way, because so many companies are covered in this book, this is a, a great kind of a list of companies you can potentially go and apply to. This is really of who's who of uh, the fintech world, more than 70 names that you can just, you know, go and look up if you kind of struggle for inspiration of uh, which fintech companies. Um, you want to look at uh, if you want to gain that first experience before you potentially also go and create your own fintech company. This next book is also a great book. It's called The Future of Finance. And what I like about this book the most is that it's written by two people. One is an engineer and artificial intelligence expert, and the other one is a lawyer and a banker. So this gives, really gives you a great combo. But it really kind of chronicles the collision of artificial intelligence, uh, big data, uh, crypto and blockchain, and how that all impacts the future trends in financial technology and where finance is heading. Uh, there's really great research behind it. It's very practical, concise, really talks about the latest trends in financial technology and what the future of finance is going to look like. So whether you're going for an interview in finance or you already work in finance and you kind of want to see ahead where the future is and kind of understand the trends that are being discussed when we kind of look 10, 15, 20 years forward uh, when it comes to financial technology and how Digital finance is really impacting all of us. This is a must read. The next book is called Breaking Banks and it's written by Brett King, which is the same person that wrote uh, Bank 4.0 that I talked about. Uh, that was the first book on the list today. 
But this is really the best book on the disruption in banking. It kind of looks forward what banking is going to look like. It's uh, super easy to digest. Again, this is uh, in the form of interviews kind of with the real disruptors uh, around the world of um, you know, covers topics from uh, the blockchain, uh, social media impact on uh, financial services, neo banks. But also, um, you know, this is a book that's super widely read in uh, finance, in the financial circles. I know a lot of people in finance that are kind of buying this book for their whole teams because that really prepares people to have um, deep and informed discussions with C-suite uh, executives. So again, whether you're looking for that um, first job in finance, trying to get into finance or are already working in finance, this is a, a must read kind of a book because it really shows you and takes you to you know, 10, 15, 20 years forward of what finance is gonna look like and how we have completely transformed from what finance used to look like 20 years ago. The next book is called The Blockchain Bubble or Revolution. And this is a great book because it really covers everything around the blockchain and crypto. Uh, so if you want to work in blockchain or around cryptocurrencies, and this is you kind of at the beginning of your journey, this is certainly the first thing you should read. It's written by three Silicon Valley leaders or experts uh, from uh, Facebook, Microsoft and Google. Uh, so it really gives you kind of the perspective of big tech companies on blockchain and cryptocurrencies. And it covers pretty much everything. So we go from, you know, the initial blockchain and, and Bitcoin, kind of the history of where we came from and, and the concepts uh, around blockchain to decentralized ledger technology, private and public blockchains. But also it gives you a lot of real uh, world kind of case studies. So you learn about the blockchain technology around gaming and, and examples with Xbox, uh, the cloud services that uh, Microsoft was running. Uh, but also the efforts that Facebook and WhatsApp were uh, kind of conducting around blockchain. So this is a complex subject. Blockchain is certainly not very easy to understand. And this book really is extremely well researched. It kind of really covers everything you need to know uh, around the blockchain technology and cryptocurrencies. The next book is called The Advances in Financial Machine Learning. And machine learning is really is, is an area where there's a huge lack of skilled and experienced people. So anybody that uh, acquires these skills and is good in understanding machine learning and algorithms and big data is going to have a hugely rewarding career in finance. This book was written by a recognized expert, a portfolio manager, and it kind of discusses how uh, big data works, uh, how machine learning algorithms uh, run research on the big data, how supercomputing methods work, backtesting. So, this is not a book for a complete beginner, it certainly requires some prior uh, programming experience, but anybody that kind of wants to understand machine learning and how machine learning um, and AI is impacting um, uh, the revolution in financial services, this is your book. And the last book on my list is called The Bitcoin Billionaires by Ben Mesrick. And uh, Ben is one of my favorite authors. He wrote The Accidental Billionaires, uh, Bringing Down the House, um, Ugly American. So, this is not really fiction, nor is it kind of very educational, but it certainly talks about the history of uh, how Bitcoin became a predominant cryptocurrency and how uh, the Winklevoss uh, twins became billionaires. Uh, it talks about, uh, you may remember, uh, uh, Cameron and Tyler Winklevoss, uh, they were the kind of slightly obnoxious twins at Harvard chasing Mark Zuckerberg uh, for, um, uh, for a settlement after they kind of perceived or thought or maybe really happened. Uh, that um, he stole their idea for Facebook. Um, and then the story goes that they tried to become venture capitalists. Uh, nobody really wanted to take their money because of their fight with Mark Zuckerberg. And um, they were kind of uh, nursing their egos in Ibiza and met uh, an eccentric character that told them about this new thing called crypto. And the rest is kind of history. By 2017, they did become billionaires. Uh, but there are obviously the people behind the exchange Gemini now. So this is, this is kind of part of the folklore that we should all know about. Um, ben uh, Mesrick's books are always very gripping, very well written and researched, so it kind of really tells you what happened, how it happened, and uh, it's important to understand where we came from to know where we're heading, obviously. All right, so much for a collection of really good books on fintech and finance and kind of the digital future of where finance and financial services are heading. Like I said in the beginning of the video, I think this is a very small investment in your future, whether you are trying to get into finance just to break in into fintech, or if you already work in finance and kind of need to be informed for these conversations, for those strategy meetings, uh, these uh, C-suite executives uh, conversations, uh, these are really great resources and it's a small investment in, uh, in anybody's future. Anyway, thanks for hanging out today. Make sure you give a like to the video if you enjoyed this conversation. Subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in a few days.